Hi you guys, um, this is a, an extremely important tutorial, especially for students who are new to online classes in Canvas. Uh, a lot of times you're going to need to upload uh, your files to a, an assignment, to submit an assignment in Microsoft Word. So how are you going to do that if you don't have Microsoft Word on your computer? Well, everybody actually has it. It's not going to be a standalone application on your computer necessarily. Uh, you all have it in your student portal. So you need to find it in your student portal. And I believe, I've never been in as a student, but I believe that if you look in your, uh, where Canvas is located, that you'll be able to find your student portal and you'll be able to locate it in that way. So what we're going to do to begin with is we're going to go to Microsoft Word. And you can see that over here, uh, over in the lower right hand corner, we got Microsoft Word. So I'm going to double click on that and it's going to show what we've got here in terms of um, your interface uh, uh, in your student portal for Microsoft Word. And one thing that I want to show you before we move on and start working on that document is that right here we can see upload and open. That's if you have uh, a document on your computer um, and it's uh, already formatted somewhat. Maybe you've done a, a Word document in the past or someone sent you a Word document and you want to upload it and open it in Word in your student portal. Well, you can do that here. You can upload it, you can open it, and then you can start working on it with, from within your student portal. But for this particular assignment, this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to work on a blank document. So let's go up here to new blank document up in the upper left hand corner. We're going to click on that and that's going to open up a new blank document in Microsoft Word in your student portal. So uh, the first thing I want to point out to you is this uh, uh, menu bar up at the top of tools. Um, this menu bar has a whole lot of different things that you can do. We'll be working with a few of them. At a certain point, you might want to take a look around and see what other kinds of things that you can do here. But for now, we'll be working with some very select ones uh, for you to uh, be able to do the things you need to do to format this document in MLA style. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put up a header up at the top. So I'm going to go to Insert right here where it says insert, I'm going to click on that, and that's going to change the menu options right below it. See where they're changed? So I'm going to move over here to header and footer, because that's what we want. We want a header and a footer, and that's going to create an open space up at the top, an open line up at the top that's going to allow us to edit it in the header space, which is generally about a half inch, supposed to be a half inch from the top of your uh, page. Uh, for MLA formatting. So in order to get to the right hand part of this page because your header in uh, MLA needs to be on the right hand side of the page up at the top, I'm going to hit the tab key twice. The first tab key push goes to the center, the second tab key push goes to the right hand side. So I'm going to give you a fictitious name of John Jones. John Jones. After that, I'm going to press the space key, space, because I want a space between Jones and the page insert. So then, in order to get a page insert up here, because I don't want to type a one there, otherwise I'll have all page ones, I want actually a page insert. So here where you see page numbers, page numbers, if you click on that, it's going to download this option to you. And the left one uh, is going to add a page number to the left side of the header. The middle one is to the middle, and the right one is to the right. It says add page number to the right of the header. We're going to click on that. And then you can see in here where it says number, that means we're going to have a page number there. You're going to have page one, two, three, four. That's exactly what you want. And you notice there's a space between the S and the page number. Perfect. Okay, so we want to get out of here before we mess it up. So I'm going to click down here in the grayed out portion. So that's going to gray out the top or it's going to make it disappear and it's going to open up. And we're going to know that it's there because now you can see that we've got a header over here. If we click on that, it's going to show it. If we click down here, it's going to get rid of it. 
So now what we want to do is we want to create the four things that we want in our um, header portion on the left hand side. There's four different things that you want uh, with uh, MLA formatting. So uh, we're going to put in your first name here, or your full name here. Uh, then you're going to press return, and then we're going to press uh, have my name here, and the instructor name, and then return, and then we're going to put uh, the class name, or it might be, for me, uh, five. And then we're going to put the date. And I'm going to press return again because now I want to put the, um, uh, the title in. The title needs to be centered. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to press return again so I can access this down below uh, without having to press a line left to get it back over here. If I don't, I'm going to have everything be centered and then I have to do the align left. So I'm going to press return twice. See my insertion point is down here. Now I'm going to go up above it. I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to go, I want to go to align right. In order to do that, I need to go to layout. No, I want to go, to, I still want to be at home. But I want to go to this guy over here text alignment. When I go here, then what I want to do is this is a line left, and that means that everything, that's what you want your essay to be. All of it needs to be a line left except for the um, title or any block quotes that you may have. So I want this one right here is a line center. For what I have where my insertion point is right now, I want that to be a line center so I can put my title in, in the middle. So you see now that I got my insertion point in the middle. So I'm going to put my title. So notice all major words are capitalized in the title. And so now rather than press return, which is going to put the insertion point in the middle, I'm going to go over here to where I pressed return before and I'm going to click. And there I've got uh, my insertion point from when I uh, clicked down two spaces which is what I wanted to do so I didn't have to do the align left. It saved me a, a little bit of time and make sure that I don't mess up. So the next thing I want to do is I want to press the tab key. Don't do five spaces because that doesn't do the same amount of space. Press the tab key and I'm going to get a tab spacing here for my first paragraph. All paragraphs need to be indented with the tab, tab key on the first line. So now So this is the first line of my essay. And then I'm going to just type some filler in here just to show you what the spacing is going to be like. Filler, filler, filler. OK, so now we can see that um, when we do this, we've all of a sudden shifted over from double space up at the top to a single space. So we don't want that. We want double space all the way through. So we need to highlight this and make it double space. We don't want to select everything because this up here, this is nicely double space. If we select the whole thing, I just found this the last time I was in here and did it, then it's going to make this be bigger spaced and this is going to be only double space. It's going to mess it up. So we're going to just select this by dragging across it. See how I did that? I used to put my insertion point here. I pressed down on it. And now I'm going to drag and drag across here. And it's going to highlight the whole thing. So now what I want to do is now I want to go to um, Layout, which is this guy up here, Layout. And then I want to go to, it's weird, but it's these three dots over here for more options. Uh, if you don't know about this, you're not going to find it, believe me. So it's, that's why I wanna, it's important to take this tutorial. So I'm going to click on this, and then it's going to give me paragraph options down here. I want to select that. And that's going to open the paragraph box. And this is where we're going to allow to, we're allowed to now change whatever selected 
into double space. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select double. And then I'm going to click on OK. Boom. Everything now is double spaced. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to show you that it is now nicely double spaced. It wants me to correct spelling, uh, but I don't need to do that because it's all spelled correctly. So now we've got nicely double spaced up here, double spaced, double spaced. Notice there's no extra space between the paragraphs, no extra space here. And then if I press return here, it's now uh, double spaced down here too, no extra space between the paragraphs. So if I start typing my next paragraph, you know, there is a little extra space between that, but we're not going to worry about that. I got a really long word here, so I got to make a space here to make sure that it goes up there, and then another long word here, another long word here. I got to press the space bar more. Okay, so you can see how this then works. Um, we've got it nicely aligned left over here. Everything's aligned left. We're going in and out on the right hand side. That's exactly what you want. Everything is nicely double spaced, including the top part. We've got our header up at the top. Now, hey, we're sitting pretty. This is what we want. This is MLA formatting. Now, if you want to save this document, I suggest you do that. And maybe you could uh, give it a title. Maybe uh, see so you go up here to document. It's saved as document number four, but we want to give it a title so we can use it. I'm going to call it I'm going to call it MLA format document. Press return and it will save it as MLA format document. And that way, whenever I go in here to do a new thing, I can just open that up, copy it, and start working on my new project. I don't have to redo this every time I go in here. It's all set up for me. And then you can just sort of you know, erase everything up to this point, you know, highlight it, erase it, and then you can just start from scratch right there. And you don't have to reinvent the wheel with the uh, MLA formatting every time you do a new document. Okay? So something else that I want to show you before we cut out of here on this tutorial, and that is you're going to need to download this document to your computer so that you're going to be able to submit it as an assignment into Canvas. Canvas is going to allow you to maneuver uh, to uh, your computer and then grab that document and then select it and upload it to submit as an assignment. So before you download this to your computer, if you don't have Microsoft Word on your computer, you need to make sure that this is as good as it can be because you're not going to be editing it anymore. Now, if you want to revise it, what you could do is you could take that document that you got on your desktop and you could upload it or you can go into uh, the where it has it on here in your documents section. Uh, I believe it's over here, documents, yes. Go into there, you're going to grab the document and then you can uh, revise it uh, to resubmit it as a revised assignment. But uh, what you need to do if you don't have it on your computer is uh, Microsoft Word, which is you know the case because if you had it on your computer, you wouldn't be in here in the first place. Um, you need to uh, download it. Sometimes you're going to have something up here that says, tell me what you want to do. But for this one, for some reason, it doesn't have this this time. I don't know why. It just has search here. So I noticed before that if you click on this, then it's going to allow you to download a copy by just clicking on that. Suggested. Download a copy. I'm going to do that, and then it's going to say download a copy. I'm going to click on that, and then it's going to boom. Did you see that happen real quick? It went across here, and it went down to my downloads folder down here. So if I click on that, you can see it's in my downloads folder. You can drag that to your desktop, and then you can leave it on your desktop, or it'll be if you have a if you have a PC, it's going to go somewhere else. You know your PC, so you'll know where it goes when you download something. And so then you're going to uh, use that document to submit as your assignment for whatever it is that you happen to be working on. So I hope that helps you. I hope that clarifies anything. You know that I'm always available uh, through email. I'm available on the Remind app. I'm available through chat. I'm available through Zoom. 